Closed captioning from First Look is sponsoring Heart by. The weather's warming up, so show off that beach bod. Because we're cruising into spring break on First Look. Spring, and our first stop is the sweet city of Charleston, South Carolina. Sandwiched between two rivers, coincidentally named Ashley and Cooper, Charleston is known for its ancient architecture, lush gardens, and sprawling plantations. And drive just 10 miles from downtown, and you'll end up at the, quote, edge of America, otherwise known as Folly Beach. All right, guys, we're off. This is the part of the tour where I slow it down a little bit. <laughs> wow, do we get music? <laughs> I see a uh, Richard, you found him right away. What is that? Is that something? That's a, that's a pelican. Okay, good time. So Ashley, that's the Morris Island Lighthouse. That's where we're headed. You're going to paddle surf and you're going to do your yoga. Down. Am I supposed to help you? Thanks. And waiting for me on shore is Sub Safari's instructor, Al, with a few interesting tidbits about paddleboarding on Bali Beach. Why is this the perfect place to come and do paddle surfing? Oh, a great bohemian atmosphere, lots of natural wildlife here. South Carolina has the most untouched coastline along the East Coast. We got the dolphins swimming all around. That's really what makes it. Can I say nine out of ten times? We're going to see some dolphins. Ah! <laughs> oh He's coming to play. God. His eye came up above the water. He was checking you out. Wow. So that's why Folly is a great place to come. And after a crash course in the basics, I'm ready to do some paddle boarding before squeezing in a bit of yoga. Where am I going? Forward paddle on your right side like you're doing. There you go. So how's this feel? Yeah, all right. Go ahead. We'll stand up. One, two. <laughs> keep the knees bent. Three. You're crushing it. Just keep those legs. Bent, hips in a swivel. Nice. This is why you come and paddle board in Charleston. This is my life right now. It's pretty freaking cool. Now sufficiently warmed up, I meet with a few local yogis, and together we're going to see just how balanced we really are. We'll start on hands and knees, get acquainted with the board itself, look up towards the sky, exhale, push your back up. Let's go ahead and just tuck our toes on the board and push up into a downward facing dog. <laughs> and from here, let's go ahead and step your right foot in between your hands. Oh, yeah, that's a bouncer. And then let's try inhaling up towards the sky. Warrior <laughs> one. Really special. So, are you gonna leave tomorrow? No, this is dead. 
<laughs> and while it's considered the island of romance, Catalina offers a ton of activities. We're off to the Golden State. Located just over 20 miles southwest of Los Angeles, sits the tranquil island of Santa Catalina. Known around the globe simply as Catalina, this popular getaway is the ideal escape from the glitz and glam of Hollywood. And while it's considered the island of romance, Catalina offers a ton of activities to help get your heart racing no matter what your status. So tonight, my bestie Bobby and I are embarking on a one-hour boat ride to Catalina's main town of Avalon. Have you ever been to Catalina before? I have. I came here when I was a little kid. I did the glass bottom boat. And together, we're going to explore 20 plus miles of wild lands and crystal clear waters from the best view possible. The island was originally developed into a tourist destination by the chewing gum tycoon, William Wrigley. And while you can no longer enjoy the casino, you can still get your thrills. We're gonna go zip lining! Zip lining! On the island! Zip lining on the island! The Catalina Zipline Eco Tour is a two hour tour consisting of five separate zip lines ranging from 500 feet to over 1,000 feet in length. We suit up, get a safety lesson from our guides, a scenic drive to the course. Oh, oh holy. And then. Let's go zip in. Yeah. Now, how high up are we here on Station 1? This one, we're probably just about 100 feet above the canyon floor. The next one will be our longest and highest one. I'm excited right now. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Ready to fill up? Yeah. Thank you so much for inviting me aboard this amazing ship. 
So tell me, where are we today? We are right now in Key West on the beautiful Crystal Symphony, and I get to show you everything on the ship. Oh, I can't wait. Named the number one mid-sized cruise ship line by readers of Condé Nast Traveler every year for more than two decades, Crystal Cruises is consistently taking luxury to the next level. I'm proud to say that we have been Crystal's number one producer for 15 years in a row. Their attention to detail and how they handle everything, they deserve the awards, and all anybody has to do is come on board the ship and they can see. And we know Crystal has sailed across oceans, ports, but now they're really expanding. They're a game changer in the luxury industry. Crystal is now coming out with two planes, a 787 and a 777, five river cruises, which is a completely different experience, and private yacht, which I just had the pleasure of going on for the inaugural sailing. And the yacht carries its own submarine, and there's only four submarines like this in the entire world. A and submarine. I drove it, yes, went down, drove it to the bottom of the ocean floor. It was phenomenal. You've been in the luxury travel business for a very long time. Number one question, why should people be booking with a travel agent when they're booking luxurious travel? Not all travel options are created equal. Not all hotels, not all cruise lines. And I think it's very important to have somebody who's been on, in this case, Crystal, who can match you with the right ship, who can match you with the right itinerary. It's overwhelming otherwise. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs a Mary Jean. <laughs> that's right, that's the truth, because you travel, what, 100 days of the year? Probably. You yes. know what you're talking about. <laughs> And among some of the most talked about features on a Crystal Cruise are its diverse dining options, including international cuisines from high-end restaurants like Nobu. Mary Jane, you and I both love Nobu, and everybody knows that this is world-renowned, top-notch sushi, and it's here on Crystal Cruise. And I have people that literally have booked the cruise mm -hmm. because of Nobu, and they don't believe it. I mean, look at this. Talking about Nobu is not as much fun as actually eating Nobu. Can we start right now? Yeah, and you know what all this is. That's the yellowtail jalapeno. All of Nobu's signature dishes are available here on Crystal. This is melt-in-your-mouth kind of sushi. But you have other restaurants, too. It's not just Nobu. They have an Italian restaurant on board that's phenomenal. On deck, they have the local foods of the regions where you're sailing. You can go into the bistro. Let's not forget the dining room, which every single night the menu changes and you have probably five different selections just in the main course alone. Thank God for the fitness center. That's, <laughs> that's a great point. Burning off these calories is a splendid idea, and I know the perfect place to do just that. This is the Galaxy Showroom where Crystal's award-winning Broadway-style productions come to life. And when Crystal's professional crew of dancers are not rehearsing for their next performance, they're teaching guests like myself some ballroom basics. Over my head. Okay. Five, kick. Six, six. Seven, kick on. Eight. Seven, now where do I go? Whoa. One, two, three, three, four. Out. And then and. in tension. Yep. And push away. And then we'll go under my arm. Under your arm and into the final pose. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I feel like I'm on Broadway. From basking in the spotlight to lounging in my luxurious penthouse suite, Crystal delivers a level of service you won't find on any other cruise line. And Theo, our own personal butler, amazing. And now, Mary Jean, he doesn't just pour drinks. What else does he do? I've had the butlers do everything from put on my necklaces, make dinner reservations, pack, unpack for me, plan dinner parties. That is luxury. So now we have to talk about the room, though. Walk-in closets, a powder room. We've got floor to ceiling windows, a jacuzzi. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. But you know what? Anybody can have the hardware. Crystal has the software. That's what makes me come back here again and again and again. Be it the butler, be it the guys that work out on the deck. Everybody is fantastic. No, they truly go above and beyond. They do. They really do. But the hardware isn't bad either. No, it's not bad. No. I'll take it. So on that note, shall we go out on the deck and... I think so. The sun's going to set soon. I want to go outside. Mary Jane, thank you for a perfect day. So are you ready to book? Are you kidding? I'm ready to move in. Uh -huh. to explore distant lands, experience new thrills, and for some, to escape into their wildest imaginations. And where can you do all that and more? Universal Studios Hollywood. What sets Universal Studios Hollywood apart is that we really immerse our guests in the film experience. You can step out of your daily life and step right into the movies. But not only is Universal Studios home to Hollywood's most famous backlot, it's also where one of the world's biggest movie franchises comes to life. 
Harry Potter. So, we're sending out big kid Jackie Chiquita to explore this adult playground. And with so much ground to cover, she's bringing a friend. I am so excited to bring you because you are my nerdiest friend. And we're going to the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Exclusive yeah. now. Super fan. I may or may not have written my senior thesis paper on Harry Potter compared to Odysseus and the mythic hero structure as described by Joseph Campbell in The Power of Myth. Also a grown man with a Voldemort wand on his wall. Yes, in my nerd shrine for protection. I'm just excited to speak with a British accent and maybe drink some butterbeer. I want some butterbeer in my belly. Let's do this. Let's do it. Every boy. And joining us for a quick detour before heading to Potter's World is our VIP tour guide, Natalie. One, two, three. Go! I am a huge Simpsons fan, so this right here is my happy place. We are in Springfield. We want to give you a true, authentic Simpsons experience. You can eat like the Simpsons. You can drink like Homer Simpson. We've got Moe's Tavern. Like, I like duck beer, yeah. but I also like hogs meat better. Do you know what I love? Donuts! And I know they're going to be here. Large life donuts. Let's yes. go. Do a donut, so here it is. That's the one donut. The big pink. It's <laughs> huge. It's a two-handed donut. Look at this crazy. It's a donut. Nice. I, I got it. No, I, no. I see the donut. Yeah. All right, let's yeah. go. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, follow up. And just outside Springfield is the soon-to-be site of yet another popular series. This is a sneak peek. Summer 2016, a brand new permanent attraction here, The Walking Dead. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be hard. Yes, authentic walkers. Okay, the work with the producers is gonna be very, very real. That's that's awesome. I love zombies, <laughs> but you know what? Harry Potter. Okay. So okay. Oh, let's, let's, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. the cobblestone streets and snow-capped roofs of the wizarding world of Harry oh, Potter. Oh, it's hot oh, in me. the flesh. Right here in Universal Studios Hollywood. I want to take everything in right now. Where, where should we apparate first? You need to get a robe. Go to Dervish in Banks. Guys, I'm going to leave you here. Good luck. Thank you. Don't cast too many spells. We look the part. We look the part. Before we go to school, I'm starving. Yes. They have birdie bots every flavor bean. One of these tastes like vomit. Chocolate fudge slash ooh, peppermint toad. I see you chose wisely. <laughs> if I had all the money at Grey Bots, I'd get one of everything. Star Wars. I got the jelly slugs. Give me one too. Chocolate frog. <laughs> I hope I get guys with Gryffindor. Right, let's wash down this sugar shock with some butter beer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, that's like a Horcrux. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you, kind oh, sir. Butter beer. Butter beer. I've been waiting all day for this. I, I want it in my mouth. It's exactly what I think Hall's beer tastes like. Like liquid five heaven. Now that we're sorted and high on sweets, it's time for magic. That's a gym. So this is Ollivander's where we pick our wand. Well, actually, the wand picks you. Ah, the prayer. That's yeah, listen. You have to feel for it. Hello. Hello, friend. Somebody wanted to be chosen. Ooh. Oh. Yup. I shall name him Rupert. <laughs> Hello, Amora. And if you think these wands are just for show, think again. Revelio. First time, out the gate. Ventus. Ventus. Josh could clearly use a little wizarding 101. And around here, there's only one place to do that. All right, Jackie. You know what my favorite part of the park is? No. Hogwarts oh. Castle. <laughs> right there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. As if this castle isn't stimulating enough, Hogwarts is also home to Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, one of two of the attractions thrilling rides. That was so I, rad. I really felt like I was fine. I know, and then Dragon was so real. You saw... Another one? Yes, yes, yes. yes. More, 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 more. Yes. away. <laughs> Now 
not win the bad. Best news in all the bad. After writing a hip hop film, I feel great. You got to me too. All set? Yes. All right. Here's to us. Here's to the wizarding world of Harry Potter. And here's to Spring Break 2015. Where the magic happens. <laughs> into the movies. But not only is Universal Studios home to Hollywood's most famous backlot, it's also where one of the world's